the mission that I went to is now probably six different missions. I know some people when they get a call and it goes Ohio, West Virginia or whatever, there, there might be an element of, well, that doesn't sound like that great of a place. I was thrilled. For me, I was really happy to read that. I just don't know. I just had an instant connection. I was happy with that call. And I hope you are too. You should be. Because to me, your mission, it, it's kind of like a three-legged stool. There's three areas you got you have to deal with. One is you're going to meet great people. There's terrific people out there in those areas. And you can have an influence on them. You can uh, become their friends. You can guide them toward the gospel and have a relationship that goes on forever with those people. The second thing is your influence with your companions and those other missionaries and, and really kind of the members that are already, they're already members of the church. That's an area you have to be good at. You have to deal with people, make them feel better when they leave you than when they came and first met with you. Make sure they know that you have a testimony of the gospel and that you're there to help them and, and lift them up. And then the third thing is you personally. You have a great opportunity in those two years to learn many things that you would not otherwise have the opportunity to learn. Especially self-discipline, that you can make yourself get out of that ever-loving bed and get up and get doing what you're supposed to do. And get out and work hard, that you can learn, be a good influence on others, so that when the two years is over, you can look back and feel like you've done a, you've done a good job. If you can deal with those three things on any kind of a positive level, you'll have a great experience and you'll have made a great difference for the rest of your life and the lives of the people you come in touch with.